Hi everyone! Uh, this is, I guess, an update to my Lush haul because I went back. Uh, my lovely boyfriend bought me a lot of stuff, so I'm here to show you what that stuff is. Um, also, two quick things. Um, I didn't show you what Cosmetic Warrior looks like in my last haul, so um, for those of you, of you who care, that's the container. And that's what it looks like on the inside. It has garlic, eggs, grapes, and other fun products. I don't think it really stinks, but other people think it does. I don't know. It's for people who have acne, oily skin, breakouts, bleh. That's why I got it. Uh, the second thing, I'm going to insert a video here. Um, in my last video, I did not mention the name of a bath bomb that looks like Saturn with glitter on top. Um, it's actually called Space Girl. So I just want to include a video of what it looks like in the water because I don't have it with me and I wanted you, whoever you are, to see what it looks like in the water because, um, yeah, I already used it and I'm not going to buy another one for a long time because I, yeah, too much money has been going towards Lush. So anyway, here you go. Um, I'm going to show you what Space Girl is. I have no idea what it looks like and I don't really want to waste it and be like, it was the coolest thing ever and you can see, so I'm showing you. <laughs> the water's not even high enough. If you haven't guessed, it's shaped, it's shaped like Saturn. I almost said Satan. <laughs> it is distinctly purple from the pink water. Bubbles. But, I don't know. <gasps> There's colors in it. Oh my god, that's the coolest thing ever. I think I'm too excited. I don't think grown-ups should be this excited about bath products. Oh my god, it's being submerged! Ooh, it feels cold. I'm thoroughly amused. Okay, I'm guessing I will probably buy it again. Because I'm definitely liking it so far. No, come back. Where'd it go? So let's get started on my new haul, I guess. Uh, my back has been hurting, so... Um, my boyfriend recommended me, or told me, to get something that's good for muscles. Uh, so I picked up a Geofizz, which smells... Well, I don't like it, let's just say that. I much prefer Winter Bath from the Winter Collection, but that's long gone. I don't know. Apparently it has like volcanic clay or whatever. In Lush Times or whatever, it says like, oh! A spa experience at home. I don't know. Uh, if you want to know how much this is to pick it up, it, it's four ninety five. I think. I can't tell you what it's like because I haven't used it yet. So this is probably about the fourth time I'm recording this video. So I'm sorry if it sucks or if I mess up. I don't want to do it again. Okay, I got honeybee which I wanted for a really long time. Uh, these are six dollars. Six dollars. In pounds, I have no idea. But it's, it's, it's quite expensive, I think. But it smells like Honey, I Wash the Kids and It's Raining Men Shower Gel. And actually, uh, if you live in the greater Toronto area and can get yourself to Lush Queen Street, they still have it's raining Ma it's raining men shower gel like the hundred milliliter ones, um, 
So yeah, if you really like those, they have them. So get there. If you're going by TTC, it's near Osgood Station and it's past Much Music. It'll be on the right side. Also because uh, I'm lovely and I'm trying not to be selfish because I already picked up my magic mushroom so there's nothing really to hide. Yes, they have It's Raining Men. They still have the X Factor. They have a lot of them so if you like those you can pick some of those up. Those are $4.95. And they have Magic Mushroom which is also $4.95 so you can pick that up. Yay! Oh, yeah, those things are like long gone for most other shops, so I'm just letting you know if you really want them or to try them, they that's a store where I know they do have them. They don't have them online anywhere, maybe on eBay, but anyway, I picked up Blackberry. I already have half of this in my closet, but I do like it. Um, the only, it's not even cool, but there's a little thing inside that says, bang! That's it, it's just a piece of paper. Um, but if you do like this smell, Sultana of Soap smells exactly the same. They don't look alike, but they do smell exactly the same. Okay. <clears throat> I also picked up a Think Pink bath bomb, which is covered in random things, and I don't really want to know what it is. I think it's actually from the, um... <clears throat> the Geofizz, because they're in the same bag and it's not awful. So I switched bags. Um, it's pink, as you can see. Extremely pink. It has random little flowers. And I didn't know, but it actually has heart confetti inside, which is really pretty. And the color, even though it's like really pink, um, in the water, or at least a concentrated amount of water, like a small whatever, it turns Jeffree Star colored hair pink. It's pretty pink, I think. I don't know. It smells decent. And that would be a good bath bomb to actually try out because it's cheap. It's $3.95 and it's pretty. Obviously, if you're a manly man, you'll be like, no, it's pink. What else? Oh, I forgot about this. Vanilla Fountain. Also six dollars. I don't understand why they're so expensive. Well, hopefully it'll smell better in the bath. Not that it smells bad. Um, yes, it's vanilla. And that's actually a vanilla pod which will dissolve in the water. Or not dissolve, but not get hard, get squishy. I don't know. I wanted to try this, so I got it. And if you are wondering why my bags are brown, I uh -oh. I picked them up, put them in my basket, and I forgot to put them in those little baggies. So at the counter, the lady's like, "Oh, do you want me to put them in bags for you?" I'm like, "What? Oh yeah, oh yeah." So they're brown, not yellow. <clears throat> my is that what it is? I don't know. I also picked up Big Blue, which is full of salt and seaweed. Like sea salt and seaweed. Again, all these big ones I'm gonna cut in half because really I don't need <laughs> as much product in my water. Like I still have my X Factor and I broke off his head and his leg. So I still have two arms, one leg, and his whole body to use. Really you don't need that much of whatever, but if you want to be extravagant, go ahead and throw the whole thing in. I'm only doing that with Fizzbanger, Twilight, and Dragon's Egg because they are so cool according to everyone. Don't pop open. Oh, I'm exposing myself. Anyway, whatever. Okay, last bath bomb. Oh, it's Sakura. Sakura Sakura. Sakura. 
It smells like scenic shampoo bar. It smells like rub 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 shower scrub. I really like this smell. I don't I don't know why. I like it better in the shampoo though. It's supposed to smell like cherry blossoms. I'll, again, I'm gonna break this in half. I don't need the whole thing. Mm. You might not like it. I don't like the smell of flowers, but isn't it a uh, management exception? So yeah. Okay, the rest of the stuff I have. Oh wait, 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 wait. He also got me. Uh, where'd it go? Finally, finally, finally! Cool face. We got it. I have it. No more samples. Okay, I'm still using a sample and I have another sample, so I'll start using this once those are done. So, um, I asked for 100 grams and she only gave me 90. Whatever, less money spent. Um, yes, this is for oily skin acne prone skin. I actually love this stuff because, I don't know, washing your face with soap is good if the soap is meant for your face. And this is. And I like it a lot. What else? That was purchased. Oh my god, I can't find it. Oh my god, did I lose it? No. Okay, people talk about Ultra Bomb and I didn't get the big one, but right now they're having a trial size, which is not tiny, but it's only two dollars. And you might be like, two dollars for this? Okay, their lip balm is smaller than this, and it costs like seven dollars. Uh, the cool thing is, if you bring this back, you get two dollars off the full size product. And Ultra Balm is pretty much exactly like Vaseline minus the petroleum. So it's better for your skin, it's better for the environment, blah 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 blah. This is what it looks like. Um, it's generic, it's like Vaseline. You can put it on your lips, you can put it when you're dyeing your hair so you don't get a colored head, you can use it on your elbows, you can use it as moisturizer, whatever you want. Um, yeah, this was $2, again, from the Queen Street Lush. I don't know if other Lushes, Lush shops are doing this, but if you can't find them anywhere else, the only place I know that's doing it is Lush Queen Street, so... Yeah. Um... So the rest of the things I have are samples. I have a sample of Curly Whirly Shampoo, which is obviously for curly hair, which um, I don't have super curly hair, but my hair tends to curl near the ends when it's long. Um, it's supposed to smell like, well, it's made of coconut and other nasty, well, okay, not nasty. I don't know, it, it kind of stinks. Not really my, my cup of tea but whatever, I'm gonna try it. It's free, why not? Ugh. And a sample of Trichomania. I already have a sample and I used it. That's what I recently washed my hair with. It doesn't smell like anything, but really it's lovely in your hair when you're washing it, I'm just saying. Like, I like the shampoo bars, but Trichomania, like, it's still a bar, but it's not a round puck. It's a well, you cut off how much you want kind of thing. I like it. I'll probably buy it at some point. It's it's meant for dry hair and curly hair or whatever. Um, it smells so good. And it lathers up really nice. I didn't think it would because I'm used to the pucks. But anyway, so I have another sample of that. Woohoo! And the other two samples, if I can find them, is a sample of Bohemian Body Soap, which I haven't tried yet. Um... I can barely smell it in the shops because, well, Lush smells like everything, not one thing. Oh. It smells like plastic and lemonade. But that's what it looks like. It's not very exciting. But whatever. Um, oh, if you wanted to know what Trichomania looks like, so if you're in the shops and you want to try it or you want to buy it, um, well, you can look in your Lush Times or on the website, but here you go, it's what it actually looks like, it's, I don't know, mm, I love this smell, this is just a sample, so, but really it's like a huge weird white block, and it would be in the shampoo section, okay, last sample, 
last, last, last. If I can find it, yes. Is porridge soap. I was actually really skeptical to try porridge soap because it seems like too scrubby and harsh and whatever, but. Oh. Yeah, we'll try this out and see. I'll let you know what I think. Um, it has oatmeal in it and orange juice. I don't smell either. Uh, yeah, hopefully it's not too rough. It doesn't seem that bad, but neither did summer pudding. And then I was like, ow. Neither did figs and leaves. Ow. Okay, last but not least, what I wanted to show you is um, for my cake, my caking class, my cake decorating class, I baked a cake and I showed you in my last one the cake pan and now I'm going to show you the cake because I never made a cake in a, in a round pan so this is kind of exciting. Oh. Da -na -na -na. So I wrapped it in saran wrap because I didn't want it to dry out. Isn't it pretty? Yes, so when you bake a cake, this is how it comes out of the pan. You're actually supposed to slice this off so it's not rounded. Turn it over and decorate the flat side with whatever you want. I used white cake. I've never used white cake before because it seemed really gross, but it smells good. Normally I'll, I'll use like marble or French vanilla or lemon or chocolate or something. I've never used white. The, the term white cake just creeps me out. Like if there was a cake called yellow cake or black cake or brown cake, does it? I don't know. To me it just creeps me out. So I rather hear vanilla than white. But anyway, yes, I'm wearing the sweater again, which I wore in many, many videos, but it's so comfy. It's my little at home sweater. Anyway, I hope you liked my extended haul. Uh, I'm not crazy. If you search Lush Hauls on YouTube, you will find many, 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 many people doing Lush Hauls. Bigger than mine. So, anyway, I hope you're having a good whatever day you're watching this. Um, and it's April something, and it snowed yesterday. Anyway, so, have a good day. Thanks for watching.